Hi, I'm Ken Linden Dykes from Saddle World, and today we're looking at jumping saddles, some of which will be close contact, which are much favoured nowadays, and others semi-close contact. What do we mean by that? Well, first of all, if we were to look at perhaps one of the most famous dress ice, uh, one of the most famous jumping saddles in the world, is the Nelson Pessoa saddle. This has a thin panel of foam and it's called a close contact saddle and it gets you, surprise surprise, close to the horse. Almost always they have a fairly flat seat rather than a deep seat which some people do like and the roll on this particular saddle is quite high. This is also a Pessoa saddle and has got adjustable um, pads for the knee to, to, to suit the rider's own comfort and length of leg and this particular saddle also has got an adjustable soft panel as opposed to the full close contact. So when people talk about close contact saddles they mean different things. This has a flop panel therefore technically is not a close contact, it's a semi-close contact but what makes it closer is it only has one flap. So this is a single flap close contact saddle and also the, it has long billet straps on, often thought to be dressage straps, plainly not, so that the buckles come away from the leg. So the rider's leg can come in here straight and has one roll holding you fairly high up. Many different guises. This is a close contact saddle, foam panel, non-adjustable, although the tree is adjustable with this one, and detachable rolls, as is this. When I first started riding on jumping saddles, people liked deep seats and big rolls, which was great every time you got the stride right. But no matter how good you are, you don't always get the stride right. And I was helped design the saddle for Nelson Pessoa many years ago. And I said, why is it that you want a saddle that's so flat, Nico? And he said, well, when you're coming into a combination, if you get the first part wrong, and let's say the horse goes either a long stride or very short, you get poked up the bum with a big, uh, with a deep seat, throwing you forward. You're out of balance. You're over the first part, coming into the second or third part, you'll take it by the roots. So with a close contact saddle, it isn't what it does for you, it's what it doesn't do to you when you get the stride wrong. It allows your body much more freedom. So this is a very technical piece of equipment nowadays. And if you go to most jumping competitions, nine people out of 10 will be on close contact saddles or semi-close contact. Semi being flat in the seat, adjustable panel, full close contact, a non-adjustable panel, but still fairly flat in the seat. The amount of depth of seat varies according to the rider's liking and of course the shape of the horse, because if you have got a horse with a very flat back, you can't have a deep seat. Or if you have a horse with a very dipped back, you can't have a very straight panel, because it will bridge or have a room underneath. So get your local qualified saddle fitter to come along with a big range, We'll go through all of these things with